Good morning, everybody. How you doing? <sighs> Still kicking. Oh, it's good. Night. I got good sleep last night. Relative is freezing, but yeah, that's what it is. Surviving in the wilds, the wilderness, man. Yeah, I wanted to talk about a few things today. Um, in this video, I wanted to spice it up as you were. It's funny because I have tarot readers that I'm so in tune with. I'll just read their title and I already know what I they're going to talk about like Minnow Pontero. He's got a, I, 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 I basically watch for Taurus and Aries because I'm Aries in the Vedic. So I'm covering all bases, right? And I saw a thing and you said something about spice it up. And that was just the title of it. I haven't even watched it yet. But I was like, I've done this before where, you know, I start getting like in the lull when I'm doing my videos and I'm, and it's important to focus on you and your spirituality and your growth and, loving yourself okay that was the, that's usually my big thing love yourself but i also like to throw out stuff because you know like i said i did a lot of analysis and on the computer and online and so i've seen all kinds of different ideas and theories and conspiracies and and videos that are just crazy and i've talked about a lot of them like the mutt that's all bigfoot and stuff <clears throat> so i figured i'd you know and one thing i didn't talk about i don't think i really talked about was the anunnaki and that concept, that that whole idea from from Danikin, I think is uh, anyway the guy that did Chariots of the God. Um, pardon me if I don't remember his name is, but he's a really cool individual. But um, so anyway, so yeah, Anunnaki were basically a race of of alien beings, apparently like twenty four feet foot tall, and they had six hands and six toes, that kind of thing, basically giants, and they came down and they mined for gold and africa was a big mining facility there and they would use these big they, they still have some a lot of these ring structures they're trying to figure out but anyways so the idea was that anunnaki came down and they saw primitive men or whatever and they spliced them and diced them and that's where we come from <clears throat> so we're like you know hybrids from the anunnaki or whatever they're little experiments and I also have, there's also other theories about the mass extinctions on this planet, including the dinosaurs. Well, apparently, I, I have a theory about this, but the, what do they call those, Draco, the, um, the reptilians, whatever. These, they're a race of lizard people. That's the idea. And they could exist. I don't, I've never met one. I've heard stories. I've seen video. I'm not going to deny or whatever. I'm just saying this is just a theory out there that they're talking about. Anyways. Like the dinosaur grow and and evolve, like mammals and all these other things, they've evolved into a you know two arm two leg creature, the the reptilians, and this is their planet. So if the dinosaurs were here, and they died off, the, but they're reptiles, right? My theory is simple: that the reptilians come from um, the dinosaurs. That's their ancestors. So this is their planet. By proxy and I also believe that the Anaki turned this into a resort but I also I'm there's different theories about that too because there's supposed to be just humans like us that are out there in the universe too not just you know 24 foot six toed six fingered um, giants you know called An Anunnaki whatever <clears throat> so there's other creatures like us that more that just more look normal about our height or whatever and you know I don't know I've never met them. I'm just saying these are things you can talk about. There's this one video that's really funny, and it's in a military video. It's on a base, apparently, and there's all, there are all these guys in this room. It's like a classroom. And he's talk, And there's one guy sitting up at the front of the room, and they're talking about the different aliens that they're going to encounter. And when this one guy has a phone, he's sitting there recording it, right? And it's like the guy doesn't realize they're recording or whatever. So they're talking about the, the mantis or the big the big aliens that look like um, look like Praying mantis is basically that's what I call mantis because the big bug eye just creepy looking, but and they're apparently highly intelligent, telepathic, and very dangerous. I'm assuming. And then there's the reptilians that I was talking about. They're also giant. They're they're very tall, very muscular, very yeah. You can imagine like an alligator in a human form, that kind of thing. <clears throat> very muscular. And then there's other ones, the 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 greys and stuff like that. But anyway, these are interesting things to talk about. It's always interesting to know, you know, where you're at. Who are we? Where we come from? You know, we're all just traveling. We're all we're all light and energy, but we're also 
you know, we get incarnated in the human form or, or whatever, entities, beings of different, you know, squid or whatever the hell you are. But I just think it's fun to talk about stuff like that, Anunnaki. And then I also wanted to talk about the Mandela Effect real quick because they, I just read an article. And the reason why I'm bringing up the Mandela Effect is I just read an article. Well, I didn't really read it because I thought it was, you know, it's, it's just weird half the time. But scientists have discovered a new body part. Okay, that's part of the Mandela Effect where it's basically the concept is a time shift. It's a continual time shift. Somebody went back in time, stepped on a frog or, you know, whacked somebody's grandma or grandpa and fucked up the timeline. And so now we're living in this weird back and forth, you know, timeline, basically. It's like phasing in and out. Different things phase in and out. And... Yeah, so that's just, it's its interesting that I read the article and I instantly thought about the Mandela Effect. And that's what it does. It's like, well, you know, I'll put it this way. The reason why I call it the Mandela Effect is because you think about it. So doctors for 100 years plus have been doing autopsies, just dissecting people in, in, in schools to a study. And they've never discovered this until now. Incompetent fuckers? I don't know. Or is it just a time shift? Weirdness? Things? Supernatural? I mean... I, I dive into supernatural all the time. I'm a shaman. That's my. You got one foot in the in the 3D and one foot in the 5D. That's the idea. I'm still working on the 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 line is a little blurry right now for me because I'm still working on myself and healing and gaining my power. And but yeah, you start recognizing things once you do, which is always a beautiful thing. So I'm rambling, and but this is spicing it up, right? This isn't just talking about you loving yourself. This is some interesting things to think about. Like I said, there's all kinds of videos if you want to go look it up and and get into it. And Carrie said the God is a good way to start. But these all these structures around the world. I talked about that. Like in the in Peru, they have all these structures that even the 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 people that were there when they the the conquistadors showed up, they're like, we didn't build this shit. You know, this is this is here when we got here. You know, all these huge giant, you know, thirty thousand ton or whatever, you know, blocks. So you got to wonder who was building them, who made it. Like I said, there's that one witch doctor. That There's a video of a witch doctor from Africa that's talking about a, an oral tradition of a race of beings that show up in this planet because we are one of very few planets that have saltwater oceans. And these creatures were saltwater creatures. And, and one of them telepathically told the, the, his ancestor the story of humanity and that we once ruled the universe and we got too big for our britches and we got our asses whooped and we got sent here to this prison planet. So there's different versions of different ideas and things you can think about. And I think it's fascinating as hell. The reason why I think that story has merit is because there's a video of two guys in a submarine and they're just doing explore stuff, right? And all of a sudden something bumps up onto the, a hand bumps up onto the window and it pushes away, but right before it pushes away, you can see a face. And it's a, it's a human, it's a humanoid person. The hand had five fingers. What it, and it had it had suckers on it. Anyway, you got you you'll find the video. It's out there. <clears throat> Anyways, and that's what the witch doctor was describing these people as being. They were they were ocean, aquatic um, humanoids. So that's an interesting, fascinating thing. Spicing this stuff up. Anyway, people, I love you. God loves you, and the universe is a very fascinating place, baby. And you're in it, so dig it. Love it. Live it. I know I'm getting silly, but anyway. That was fun. I just thought I'd do something different. Anyway, still in the desert. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.